Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. So today the video is gonna be about Lenovo E495 again, once again. And the thing is that I decided to basically re return this laptop because there's it makes absolutely no sense. Lenovo contacted me and they actually uh, fine with returning it back, so finally, all right. Guys, I don't know, dual core processor in 2021. And the thing is that, I don't know, even with 32 GB of RAM, I mean, it's nowhere near comparable to a normal machine, I would say. I mean, it's okay. It might be. I'm just copying some data over to basically like remove it and disintegrate it all, to disconnect and put back all the original parts here. But it seems like I mean, it makes absolutely no sense. I mean, this is just like I don't know. To be honest with you, I think the only solution left is basically using the Apple M1 chips at this point because I mean, there's nothing comparable in the market. Even if I buy any other computer, I would say like Intel i7 or i9 or whatever i20, it's still like not comparable to what Apple actually achieved even in the basic base and one module. I absolutely don't like the things like locking down all the hardware, the software, like whatever Apple does. But at this point, there's nothing really comparable, I would say. It's just like, that's the only option left. I might just go with that option. I don't really want to. And I actually wrote an article uh, just a few days ago that I'm skipping M1 Max. But I think at this point, at this time, like beginning of 2021, there's like nothing comparable in the market nothing so Intel is just like nowhere near that so I'm just basically gonna return this machine right here and I also recommend you basically buying uh, Apple laptop at this point or maybe wait if you can wait it's probably better to wait for like probably like a year or two until we actually have some good laptops and ARM chips that actually allow to install Linux because I just I love Linux but I mean there is no really good hardware for Linux right now only like Apple ones and on all right so let's open this thing up and see what's there i mean i'm gonna miss the part about upgrading stuff from the pc world because i mean this is just so great that you can just like upgrade everything but at the same time if the speed improvements are like so many times better then what's there i mean it makes no even sense to upgrade i mean just to buy a new one <laughs> because this one is gonna be so outdated and like in a year i guess i mean it's already outdated because dual core is nothing i mean that's just nothing <laughs> and i'm going to use the pick to basically open this one up let's see if it actually helps in any way yep the quality of the plastic is not that great but at the same time, it's still, it's okay, I guess it's not that bad. All right, guys, so here we go. Basically, all I need to do is remove those two sticks of RAM and replace it with one 4GB stick. I mean, 4GB is just like nothing those days, right? I mean, I don't know. And then I need to remove this SSD and replace it with the typical very, very slow hard drive. And then I need to basically remove this MSATA stick, which is, this is disappointing because all those things are very, very good quality components. Actually, this is one is a Wi-Fi uh, the fan and then, <laughs> by the way speakers right the connection between the speakers is really hilarious i mean this is crazy really really bad quality kind of connection between speakers right here i mean this cable should go somewhere but i don't know it doesn't feel that good but other than that i mean it's okay actually by the way if you look here it says eu contact lenovo slovakia and it's bratislava slovakia so basically the lenovo e brand i think lenovo e module i think basically assembled in slovakia or something or it's like designed there i don't know maybe this is or maybe this is just a contact there i have no idea but this just like how it looks like guys i mean very very simple so let's see how it goes let's start by removing those sticks i actually need to ship it back to amazon this is disappointing because i cannot reuse those sticks anywhere right if i buy an apple computer so <laughs> but maybe i'll buy a pc computer at some point very very soon so <laughs> you never know and okay this is the hard drive let's just remove it from here come on actually let's start by removing the msata drive it's gonna be easier i guess oops here it is let's install the old memory stick back i think this way i mean ideally i should disconnect the battery from the power but that's okay all right so the memory is back it's installed right here it was very easy to plug it now all i need to do is basically remove the ssd and install the hard drive so this is actually the hard drive it's actually not that bad western digital but it's very very slow let's pull this one up okay that's it easy 
Yeah, very easy and then disconnect the cable again very easy let's disconnect this and see i'm basically gonna leave this one actually gonna reuse it it's very good speed very nice uh, ssd and it's one terabyte which is good let's connect the cable back eh, i don't like the cable how the way it's basically positioned but that's okay okay so it's going back to where it actually belongs nice all right guys and we are basically done that's it well it's actually not that much very upgradable very easy but totally uh bleh, useless and after we are done with that we can just basically screw all those things back i'm gonna turn it back on just to see like what's going on and i need to reset like delete all the files from here and actually there's some setting in windows nowadays to reset everything so i'm gonna use it so, i mean i can just format the drive but i mean i just wanted it to be like a good guy and reset it all in the factory settings and just to ship it in that state so let's see how it works but guys look at this like how many fingerprints actually are left there so inconvenient i mean that's not good actually we're all in a really really hard choice right now either stick with like this windows thing which is not that good or linux thing which is great but the hardware is not there yet or buy mac and just i mean we should just trust apple i guess to not lock it down even more so let's see how it goes but yeah bleh, i mean so slow i think it i think it already took like five minutes to boot to this thing i mean i don't know just super slow i mean the picture is nice though oh my gosh i mean come on open up i guess it's gonna take a while guys i don't know i'm just gonna figure this out myself i mean i think it's gonna take a while all right guys thank you for watching this video please let me know what do you think um please subscribe to my channel as well and we'll see how it goes in the future because i think at this point there are so many many pending changes to the market and i think it's gonna change tremendously over time everything is gonna be changed very very soon i mean all the whole concept of intel x86 processor is gonna be gone there'll be it will be all replaced by arm or maybe something else so I, I don't really know because i cannot predict the future so we'll see all right thanks